Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. A few years ago, I talked about Poppy, a YouTuber who went viral due to her bizarre short videos, which appeared to conceal hidden messages. I found that topic on the Vigilant Citizen site, in an article entitled That Poppy the YouTube Star Under Illuminati Mind Control. While, at first glance, that title seemed a bit much, it was the only accurate way of summing up the messages and symbolism peppered throughout her videos. Because, when one pieces together the narrative of these seemingly absurd and nonsensical videos, one comes to an inevitable conclusion. Poppy is an MK slave. Whether Poppy is an actual slave or she's only playing a role, is up for debate. However, beyond the imagery, there's something off about some of these videos, as they hint at actual abuse suffered by Poppy. Indeed, in some videos, Poppy appears to be bruised or completely traumatized, while, in others, she's being subjected to mild forms of torture. In one video, Poppy reads the Bible for 49 minutes straight, without a single pause. Everything about this is wrong and creepy. There is nothing religious about Poppy's Bible reading. As she struggles to read through the Bible's uncommon words names and phrasings in her robotic voice, the process becomes an exercise in absurdity. As the minutes pass by and as Poppy gets tired of reading, one feels a bizarre element of voyeurism going on, as if one is watching a mild snuff film where reading the Bible for a long period of time is the torture of choice. There are many more bizarre videos that were uploaded to her channel. The last one was posted in 2022, and it is quite symbolic. Titled Capture, the video depicts a creepy masked man, presumably Poppy's handler Titanic Sinclair, capturing Poppy using her own hair. Pure mind control symbolism. Despite the rather obvious symbolism found in Poppy's videos, to vigilant citizens at the very least, some interpreted them differently. However, with the 2024 release of the video VAN, there is simply no more room for interpretation. The video is basically Monarch Mind Control 101, complete with all of the meanings and symbols discussed on this channel for years. Here's a look at the video. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. VAN stands for violence against nature, and that's exactly what we witnessed throughout the video. It is all about corrupting the natural state of humans for nefarious purposes. As we'll soon see, the song also contains a spiritual component where violence against nature is also violence against God's creation. The video begins with an enigmatic apple that sits in a lab-like setting. In Genesis, Lucifer offers Eve the proverbial apple which leads to the original sin. The apple starts to magically levitate while dripping with blood. What is this floating thing? And what does it represent? Well, we get a big hint about one second later. In a quick shot, we see a syringe extracting blood from Poppy. Does the apple represent adrenochrome? You know, that substance the occult elite is set to crave, and that is said to be harvested from the blood of young captives of the system. One thing is for sure, Poppy is a captive of a sick system. Poppy is locked inside a glass enclosure with some dirt, to simulate nature. Poppy is under the control of MK Handlers, the lead singer of the band Bad Omens plays one. The song was made in collaboration with the metal band Bad Omens, and the MK facility is branded everywhere with a stylized version of their logo. In other words, the band plays the role of the sadistic handlers. They even own the MK lab. Considering the horrific mental, physical and sexual abuse MK handlers subject to their slaves, this is a rather strange role to play. 
One of the handlers is Poppy herself, but with black hair. MK handlers are often MK slaves themselves, and this video really wants to be an accurate tribute to MK Ultra. In the video, Poppy is identified as Patient VAN, a slave who is being programmed to engage in ungodly activities. The song's lyrics convey the sense that Poppy is an artificial creation that is in total opposition to life nature and everything good. The several references to God also point to the satanic nature of this program. I am in your algorithm learning all your mannerisms. I am already level with God. A million words a second, and I know your imperfections. Baby, I'm the only future you've got. Speak in diatonics, motivation diabolic. I'm religion better locked in a box. Picture perfect image, more powerful every minute. Baby, I am everything that you're not. At the beginning of the video, blood is extracted from Poppy. Later, something is injected inside of her. Then, something symbolic happens. After being injected, Poppy's eyes turn black, a classic way of representing the loss of one soul and demonic possession. Throughout the video, a dissociative Poppy is subject to all kinds of procedures and injections that gradually corrupt her natural self. To make sure we understand that this is about monarch programming and nothing else, several symbols that were discussed on this channel ad nauseum were inserted in the video. A butterfly, representing monarch programming, hides one of Poppy's eyes, effectively creating a one-eye sign, representing slavery to the occult elite. This symbolic image sums up the message of the entire video. Monarch. Programming. A white rabbit hides one of Poppy's eyes. Again, very symbolic. As explained in numerous previous videos, the symbol of the white rabbit is extremely important in MK programming. In Alice in Wonderland, which is used as a programming script in Monarch Mind Control, Alice follows a white rabbit through the looking glass to enter Wonderland. While being programmed, MK slaves are told to follow the white rabbit to Wonderland which, in their case, is total dissociation. When this is accomplished, handlers can engage in the ultimate goal of monarch programming. The splitting of the slaves' personalities. Appropriately enough, this process is visually depicted in the video. In nearly every MK-themed movie and video I've described, a specific scene inevitably happens. We see glass shattering. Then, the MK slave rebels and attempts to escape programming. And, through symbolism, we are told that this is all happening in the slave's head. A prime example of this pattern can be found in David Bowie's movie Labyrinth. Of course, considering that VAN is Mind Control 101, it contains a textbook version of this pattern. At one point, Poppy stares at Poppy, the black-haired handler. Their mirroring reflections indicate that they're possibly alters of the same person. Handler Poppy breaks the glass using a hammer, recreating the obligatory fracture of the persona scene depicted in all MK-related stories. Then, a lifeless Poppy sings, while surrounded by floating versions of her. This represents her core persona being fractured into multiple alters. Once the glass shatters, Poppy escapes, and all hell breaks loose in the lab. As Poppy escapes, a SWAT team equipped with flashlight searches for her. But Poppy is now, apparently, a supercharged killing machine, and she massacres the armed men. At this point, we're tempted to say Poppy is a badass who broke free from mind control. However, a shot that quickly flashes during these scenes negates all of this. Following the scene of the SWAT team holding flashlights, we briefly see a handler holding a flashlight at Poppy's eyes. The message is, Poppy's escape is happening in her head. She's still completely controlled by her handlers. The ending of the video might seem happy, but it's not. Poppy runs towards the light as she appears to be leaving the lab. Considering this happening in her head, the light might be the handler's flashlight. In other words, she's running right back to her usual programming. She's stuck in a loop she cannot escape. With that being said, is there a moral to VAN's story? Nope, there is none. It's about hopelessness, loss of free will, and hating God's creation. In short, it is about celebrating what the elite ultimately wants for us. Don't let them inject you with whatever they injected Poppy with. Not only literally, but mentally and spiritually.
because they want all of us to turn into patient VAN. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.